So we're going to start with some neck rolls, just nice circles.
And again, you're shooting that stagnant energy away from you. Waking up the body, loosening up the connective tissues, allowing the muscles to move more freely. Let the momentum move the arms, the knees bend a little bit. And you feel that your center of being your center of rootedness is in the lower dantian, which is about two inches below the belly button. And now we'll go into the next move, which is an arm swing. And let the arms come around and lightly tap the kidneys to wake up the jing or the essence, the original life force that was given to us from our parents, which is stored in the kidneys. gravity, the momentum, let's move in them. So as we know, everything is energy, even our physical body is just energy. It can get trapped, energy can get stuck. So what we're doing now is we're freeing up stuck energy and getting ready to draw in strong, healthy life force. Okay. And then our last move, we're just going to raise up on the <coughs> We're going to bounce and exhale and exhale pretty forcibly and just shake away anything that's still stagnant. Feel the energy loosen up in your body. You're creating vibrations which are breaking down old patterns. So our feet are basically about shoulder width or slightly more apart. Knees are slightly bent, a little bit of a pelvic tilt, so it's like you're kind of leaning up on a bar stool, so your back is flat, which helps the energy to flow. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. It's as if also you're suspended from the crown. So this is called a bakui point up here, suspended by a chain, so everything is nice and straight. And then we visualize ourselves sinking our roots into the ground, into the earth. And from this point on, we're going to touch our tongue to the tip of um, the tongue, right behind the two front teeth at the um, roof of the mouth. And that's going to connect the two main channels in the body, the dew and the ren, or the governing and conception vessels. So energy will be able to flow through the body. So we sink our roots into the earth. Visualize them coming out of the balls of your feet, going deep into the earth itself, connecting us to limitless energy from the earth. And then as we inhale, our legs are gonna, our knees are gonna straighten slightly. Hands rise. At shoulder height, we start to exhale. And the knees sink, and we feel ourselves getting more rooted to the earth. Inhale. And as you inhale, you're visualizing, you're drawing in life force through the roots. And the life force comes in through the roots, goes in through the bubbling wells in the feet, 
and is gathered at the lower dantian, which is about two inches below the belly button, right in the center of the body. The lower dantian is a storage point for the physical chi, the chi that's known as jing, or essence, one of the three treasures. Jing, Qi, and Shen. So the diaphragm moves downwards where belly breathing, feeling expansion in the sides and in the low back as well as the belly as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're feeling yourself get more rooted to the earth with each breath. Nice stretch when your hands 
get to be shoulder height, you start to inhale again. Come down, visualize yourself scooping up like a bucket of water. It's crystalline, green, vibrant earth energy, and then you're just pouring it all over your body. And it's cleansing you, purifying, getting rid of anything that's stagnant, anything that is dis-ease. <coughs> Feel yourself firmly rooted to the earth. Sense 
sense the energy from each hand. You might start to sense the energy next to your neighbor.
and feel the energy flow, feel the tingling in your fingers right now. The palms are warm. Rooted to the earth. Visualize the crystalline ball of light that's residing in the lower dantian, getting stronger and brighter with each breath as you pull up more light force from the earth. Remember there's three dantians, the lower dantian about two inches below the belly button. It's the center point for a jing or essence which is the life force that nourishes the physical body. It flows upwards from there into the middle dantian, which is between the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra. In a male, it's perfectly aligned where the nipples are. And that is the emotional center where it's stored as pure chi. And then the upper dantian is between basically the crown chakra, it's at the intersection of the crown chakra and the third eye chakra, right where the pineal gland is in the center of the brain, and that's the storehouse of Shen or pure spirit. And the ultimate goal is building more Shen and refining the spirit. But as a byproduct, we get abundant, vibrant health while we do this. And then also, emotional stability and emotional growth and peace. So you feel again in every breath, you're drawing in more life force. The energy ball is getting stronger. You can feel it pulsating in your lower dantian. You might even feel it circulating. It's like there's a tornado rotating down there. Chakras look like tornadoes. Energy vortices pulling energy into our bodies at all times. Now on the next breath, we're going to draw it up and pull the energy up with us into the middle dantian and expand it there. Feel a fullness. 
awareness as the energy fills each of the centers.
this energy penetrates through the skin, penetrates through the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the connective tissue, the fascia. It goes into the organs. It goes into the bones themselves, and it nourishes the blood. It sinks down into the cellular level and into the DNA, repairing the telomeres, which are on the ends of the chromosomes. As we age, aging actually is the telomeres shortening. We're sending energy back in to lengthen the telomeres, to rejuvenate them and rejuvenate ourselves. And now with the next breath, we change this energy from a pure crystalline to a, a violet color. Crystalline violet, which eliminates all lower energy fears, all negativities go away, no negative thoughts, no fears, the opposite of love is fear, fear is contractive, fear draws us within, love is expansive, and love will bring us to a higher level, spiritually and emotionally. So the violet light cleanses and purifies and brings away all negativity. And one more breath of the violet. Bringing your whole body 
into a state of perfect equilibrium and balance. Anywhere you start to feel yourself getting a little tired, just breathe into it and allow it to align to a better location and degree. This exercise will force us into a perfect posture, a perfect alignment where the energy can flow freely and uninhibited. Diaphragmic, the chest stays still. 
Feel a nice deep breath. That is very, very alkalizing. The fastest way to alkalize your body is through your breath. Making your blood more alkaline will have many, many health benefits. Slowing and reversing disease processes is one of them. Pulsating between your lower dantian and the left hand, that strong energetic connection. All the energy you've gathered is there for you to use if you need to. But it's being stored to improve your health and well-being. And now at this time, as we come over, when we exhale, the hands shift position. The right hand feels the lower down tian, and then you shift position each time. And now we're going to inhale to one side, exhale back to the other.
stretch. As you get more flexible, you could add more twist and more length to the motion. Feel your rootedness to the earth.
see it spinning strong and vibrantly in a bright orange color.
throat chakra and see it as a soft sky blue. It's our communication center. Also governs the thyroid. Also a front and back chakra. Part 
it was like something popped and it all just went. And then the rest of the everything was like I was, you know, it was weightless. Awesome. Um, the other thing I noticed though, um, you didn't say that, maybe it's many years of Pilates, in my, when I was doing the diaphragm breathing, really tight, like I was really tight and I kept saying, relax, 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 but I kept finding that all the way through, that I didn't know, I like really hold it in. <laughs> so that was a huge awareness. Um, I also started hearing, like I could hear the top, uh, the awareness increased, I could hear the clock ticking, I could hear birds outside, even though we're inside, I mean it was, it was quite, quite um, awareness. Yeah, the consciousness expanding, yeah. just becoming aware of so many different things. But that's great that you felt that light boom and then yes. everything got nice and light. Yeah. So that's, that's excellent. Yeah. Really good. Alan? This stomach can feel a ball. Good. Can feel the and energy. I can feel the magnet because I would try to put my hands together and push more. And more seems to be coming out of my index fingers than anything. So I put my hand out and put the index finger out mm -hmm. involuntarily. Mm -hmm. Now we each have like different chakras that are more dominant than others. And I still feel rooted. Yeah. Like my feet are heavy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like in time like you're just anchored to the ground. How was your practice? Um, it was different today. It was more meditative. And um, one thing I noticed is my face got really relaxed like it the, like it did when I practiced pranayama yoga, the breathing yoga, and I kept noticing that it was, you know, just in the same position. So, um, and uh, I'll have to take a shower. Built up some heat. A lot of heat. Oh, a ton of heat. For sure. Lana. I felt like my lower body was more rooted naturally. Um, I felt support on my back, which was surprising since my back is really tired this morning. I thought, oh no, just to stand there is not going to be comfortable. <laughs> but all that felt supported. And then I could see this crystal and smoky energy kind of moving around and coming off of my hands and body. When we were, I could see it. That's awesome. cool. <laughs> Mary, how was your practice? <clears throat> so what happened is my hands got so, I don't know who the stuff was trying to get out, they got so stiff, I kept stopping. <laughs> they were just like, and I had to physically move them. Is that stuff coming out? Yeah, I mean, oh. you, you have your arthritis going. So, I mean, that's, that's trying to work through that, trying to cleanse and purge it out. So your, your body has like its own inner healer, so it's taking this energy and saying, I can work with this. And so it's going to where you need to have it work done. It's, it's, it's unreal. I said it sometimes I can massage a lot. It just gets so stiff, I, I have to bend them. And this was just how it pulls up. And then when we were this way, that's the colors that I saw. I didn't see one at the time. The whole time I saw the colors doing this. I didn't see one at a time. Are you getting a rainbow? Because sometimes, sometimes people will get rainbows. They'll start to see whole rainbows. There was just the blue and the green and the red. There, was, there wasn't much yellow. It was going around. It wasn't each. It was just doing this. I, think I did have to, like you, I had to tell myself, relax. But there were other things going on in my mind. And I, too, when I got, when I finally spoke to me and listened, I could hear the clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could hear other things. And I can't hear it now. No. Right? No. But it was. Yes. It was like, ah. Yes. Yeah. What would I have to convince myself that? Yeah. Stop and pay attention. Steve, how's your back? How was your practice? Uh, better flow today and more meditative, relaxing. Back was better today. Yeah. Easier. Every time out, it'll be easier for you yeah. to get through the session, but yeah. your back feels like it'll improve. You know, it's just going to constantly improve. You'll have more mobility. Yeah, less pain, less stiffness. Yeah. It's good to me. Could you sense the energy? Are you feeling yeah. the energy? Good. Awesome. Did anybody notice like chakras? Which ones stuck out? Did anybody go through and was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, or 
Mm. Can't really feel that I actually felt some nausea as the energy was moving up through, especially from <laughs> here to here. I had a wave of nausea. I was like, oh. So nausea. I guess that was maybe yeah. some energy moving through. Clear. Wow. Yeah. My um, the throat chakra, I usually can't visualize that at all. But today I, I saw some light blue in the bottom and dark blue at the top and waves like northern lights. It was pretty. <laughs> it was really pretty. Sounds I didn't want to move. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, everybody. I look forward to seeing you guys all again next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.